My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you to this Eucharistic celebration of love, peace and joy. Let us continue to raise our hearts and minds in prayer to our Lord and Saviour Jesus for the peace in the world, especially in our own country, in the places like Haryana and Manipur. We entrust the people, very especially the political leaders that guided by the Holy Spirit they may work sincerely to restore peace and harmony. Along with this intention, we also pray for the intentions of each one of you. May God give you His grace and strength and bless you with His graces and blessings abundantly. Let us begin this Holy Eucharist by signing ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us glorify the Lord by singing the Gloria. Lord, have made us glad for a 
Father's empty shell do you enjoy? Oh, how great are the days you have walked upon the land, but the foolish ones will never see them, they can't understand. Glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son, Come, let us glory to the Son. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the first book of Kings, chapter 19, verses 9, 11 to 13. The Lord was not in the wind, or the earthquake, or the fire. When Elijah reached Horeb, the mountain of God, he went into the cave and spent the night in it. Then he was told, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. Then the Lord himself went by. There came a mighty wind, so strong it tore the mountains and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind came an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, there came the sound of a gentle breeze, and when Elijah heard this, he covered his face with his cloak, and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Response Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Response Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. The justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Response Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 9, verses 1 to 5. I would willingly be condemned if it could help my brothers. What I want to say now is no pretense. I say it in union with Christ. It is the truth, my conscience in union with the Holy Spirit, assures me if it too. What I want to say is this, my sorrow is so great, my mental anguish so endless, I would willingly be condemned and be cut off my, from Christ if it could help my brothers of Israel, my own flesh and blood. They were adopted as sons. They were given the glory and the covenants. The law and the rituals were drawn up for them and the promises were made to them. They are descended from the 
patriarchs and from their flesh and blood came Christ who is above all God forever blessed amen the word of the lord thanks be to god gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia blessings on the king who comes in the name of the lord peace in heaven and glory in the he- highest heavens alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord chapter 14 verses 22 to 33 jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he would send the crowds away after sending the crowds away he went up to hills himself to pray when evening came he was there alone while the boat now far out of the lake was battling with a heavy sea for there was a head wind in the fourth watch of the night he went towards them walking on the lake and when the disciples saw him walking on the lake they were terrified it is a ghost they said and cried out in fear but at once jesus called out to them saying courage it is i do not be afraid it was peter who answered lord he said if it is you tell me to come to you across the water come said jesus then peter got out of the boat and started walking towards jesus across the water but as soon as he felt the force of the wind he took fright and began to sink lord save me he cried out jesus put out his hand at once and held him man of little faith he said why did you doubt and as they got into the boat the wind dropped the man in the boat bowed down before him and said truly you are the son of god the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters today's scripture readings encourage us not to lose heart but to trust in the lord who is with us even when we are unaware of his very presence in the first reading we find prophet elijah in deep trouble he had drawn anger of the evil queen jezebel the wife of the king ahab it was under her rule the weak king had introduced pagan customs and rituals into israel elijah confronted these shamed them publicly and had them slaughtered now jezebel wanted him dead at any cost frustrated and on the verge of despair prophet elijah retreats to the wilderness taking refuge in the cave his spirits are so low that he wants to die and he prays he says oh lord i have had enough take my life i am no better than my ancestors which we find in the first book of kings chapter 19 verse 4 however in the cave near mount horeb he experiences the presence of the lord in a gentle breeze which is very clearly mentioned again in the first book of kings chapter 19 verse 12 and confronted by this very experience he finds the strength 
and self confidence to continue his prophetic mission in our gospel passage dear friends we see the disciples of jesus caught up in those violent storms now they are battling heavy waves and are almost losing the battle and now jesus approaches his disciples by walking on the water far from being comforted they are scared they are frightened imagining him to be the ghost and they cry out in fear the ghost turns out to be jesus himself and who reveals to them saying courage do not be afraid it is i encouraged by these very words of jesus peter responds to jesus saying if it is you allow me to come towards you and his invitation peter walks towards jesus across the water but when he feels the force of the wind his courage fails him and he begins to sink in panic he cries out he cries out to jesus saying lord save me and jesus reaches out his hands and he saves him he uplifts him and jesus says courage do not be afraid it is i these are the very same words that jesus speaks to each one of us every day in our lives as we sail on the uncertain sea of life when we are and gulf with our fear anxieties worries tensions depressions when we are not sure what is happening to us where we are heading towards what is happening to us why all these things when we are confused when we are caught up in our own web of problems it is at that moment the lord says to us courage do not be afraid it is i it is i who i am with you to uplift you to bring you out from the web of anxieties tensions worries all that we need to do is to focus our gaze not on our problems but to our comforter jesus peter was thinking because he focused his gaze onto the force of the winds and he is sinking which he was not in the beginning because his gaze was fixed on Jesus and in our daily life it also happens with us the same way when we fix our gaze from our savior and focus on problems we are sinking but Jesus is not far away from us remember he is emmanuel god with us he is there he is there to uplift us he is there to save us he is there to comfort us it is he is there to lead and guide us all that we need to do is like peter to surrender ourselves and say lord save me so my dear friends The example of Peter teaches each one of us today that we need to fix our gaze on Jesus alone and not on the surging waves around us. The lessons for us from this very incident is number 1, peace is not found in the absence of the storm, but it is found in the presence of Jesus. Secondly, faith requires us stepping out of the boat turn without jesus we will sink and finally when we follow jesus faithfully he will do incredible things through us so dear friends we are invited today to deepen our faith and to maintain our focus on jesus alone let us all therefore 
grow ever stronger in our faith and conviction to follow God in all things that to do our best every day living our lives in perfect harmony with our Savior Jesus may the Lord our most loving God and Creator continue to bless us with his kindness and graces and blessings and may all of us draw ever close to him and be more courageous and committed to face any obstacles so that we become truly worthily disciples of our Savior Jesus. May God give us the grace, give us the courage and give us the confidence to follow Him closely and to be with Him. Amen. My dear friends, let us profess our faith. I believe, I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven and earth. earth. I believe and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the, of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius, Pontius Pilate, was crucified, crucified died, died, and was buried. He, he descended into hell. On, on the, the third day He rose again from the dead. dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us bring before our Lord and Savior Jesus our prayers and petitions. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for cardinals, bishops, priests, religious, that the Lord may bless them to walk courageously and lead the flock faithfully. We pray for our political leaders across the globe, especially in our own country, and very particularly for our political leaders in, in Haryana and in Manipur, that they may work sincerely to bring peace and harmony. May all the atrocities may come to an end. We pray for our doctors and nurses who are working zealously to bring comfort and solace to our sick brothers and sisters. We pray for them, for their family members. We pray for all our brothers and sisters who are sick and suffering from various illnesses. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are on the deathbeds. At this very difficult moment, we pray that the Lord may bring them healing and comfort. We continue to pray for our children, that the Lord may bless them and guide them. We pray for our teachers, that they may be committed in teaching the kingdom values. We pray for all those who have requested us to pray. We pray for all those who have no one to pray for. We pray for our own personal intentions to all those whom we have promised to pray. Let us, in the silence of our hearts, bring all those persons and surrender them in the hands of our Savior, Jesus. God, our loving Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus, who has given us the courage, the freedom to call you as our Father. We have placed all our prayers and petitions before you through your Son, Jesus. Lord, grant us our prayers and petitions. We pray, Lord, to bless us so that we continue to grow loving, faithful, and zealous disciples who are always close to you to experience you and thus bring our brothers and sisters close to you. We make this prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed and broken, poor and flowing, gift that you gave us to be your body once 
us again We come to your table With our lives as they are Heal us Lord For we are broken Make us whole again To be your bread now be your wine now lord come and change us to be a sign of your love blessed and broken poor and flowing gift that you gave us to be Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours. He humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, a God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, O oh, Father who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all the distress as we await the hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus has a table spread where the sins of God are fed. He invites his chosen people come and die. With his man on he that feel and supplies so are every need. Oh, it is sweet to stop with Jesus all the time. Come and die. Masters call it, come and die. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fell the multitude, turn the water into wine. To the hungry call it now, come and die. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live Jesus. Thanks be to God. Dear friends, wishing each one of you a blessed Sunday. Go, prophet, go. Go, prophet, go. Go to the ends of the earth for me. Go, prophet, go. Go, prophet.
Thank you.